In Overland Park, different discussions on the police budget. As 41 Action reporter Dan Cohen explains, city leaders are now looking over possible mental health policing policies within the department. Overland Park's Mental Health Task Force recently recommended adding co-responders to the police department's crisis intervention team. So Councilwoman Holly Grummert voted to hold off on approving a new public safety budget. When that very professional group came to us and said we need five, we need a total of seven, um, I really take that seriously. That's why we have task force. So really my vote for no was let's research what their recommendation is, what that looks like money-wise. Councilwoman Grummert says bringing on more co-responders would provide a needed boost. It would be moving us closer to 24-hour coverage. Um, the biggest call volumes are between 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. during the week. So it's reflection of what that coverage needs to be. When it comes to making a decision and adding resources in this area, the Overland Park City Council will be doing so based on recommendations from its mental health task force, and that includes the Johnson County Mental Health Center. What we've demonstrated over the course of uh, the past couple of years is that it really is uh, beneficial uh, for that, that officer um, and that social worker to work together to resolve the situation. Tim DeWeese says law enforcement and mental health professionals working together is an efficient use of tax dollars. You avoid going to the ER, um, so that's a costly service. You avoid going to the jail, which is a costly, costly service, and you reduce the amount of time police officers actually have to, to, to spend doing that type of work. Overland Park police say they are eager for more assistance serving those in mental health crises. So right now we have two co-responders with Overland Park, but there's always a need for more, and at the same time, we welcome them with open arms. In Overland Park, Dan Cohen, 41 Action News.